Well, we are live. Oh, there it is. You froze up, Lee, as we were fixing to go live. Oh. Yeah. Are we live? Well, yeah, we're going. We are live now. I had to go live. It was time. So we have an audience, a four-footed yeah. audience. I'm on the landline, Mike, so I don't know. But, uh, well, Max. Hey, come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Somebody's I'm excited sorry. for the front. The, I'm sorry for the chili cheese, chili cheese fries, right? Yep, chili cheese fries. We're doing that. Like, and your and dogs are all carb. excited about it. And and they're going to be low carb. Low carb, yes. Yep. We were so, just kicking around the different ideas and things that you could <clears> substitute <throat> for a fry. Right. Now. I just shot a video yesterday and, and it went live last night and I walked through the grocery store looking at all the different stuff that you could use as a fry. Mm -hmm. The issue that I ran into with several of the things was putting chili on top. Yep. That was the part I was like, yeah, I don't know. Carrots would be fantastic. It would be. That's a low carb option. You could slice up uh, mushrooms, but I didn't know how. I'm trying to think. I'm using. I'm cheating. I'm using a hot dog chili, a canned one. Uh, this is my brother-in-law's um, go-to. Whoops, we lost everybody. What's up, honey, Jay Badger? Hey, um, honey, Jay Badger. And uh, and. I forgot where I was going. The 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 glitch glitched me. Oh well. So so anyway, I got a couple of different ideas we're going to try, and it sounds like we were chatting, and Mike has got the exact same idea I do. Yeah. I thought the mad scientist would go <laughs> off off the rails, and well, no, he went easy. Yeah, it's been a difficult day. <laughs> uh, going, Paige had to go to the doctor today, and she's been. In the bed all day because she had a shot in her eye. So I had to okay. go with it. But here's a, but so we're doing the same kind of fries, but I'm going to show you a different kind that you can use. And Lee, I think, is going to either use the other kind or show it to you also. So go ahead and show them what you got, Lee, and I'm going to get this other type of fry that I can show them. So I got these. You saw the video. These are veggie zucchini garlic parmesan fries. I picked these up. I was like, oh, those sound interesting. They'd be worth a shot. So I'm going to try to cook them on my uh, cast iron flat top here. Um, and then I got stuff to make chaffles. Chaffles is an easy thing. Um, it's basically egg and cheese. And yep. then you cook it in a waffle maker. And voila, you get a waffle. And you cut it long ways along the lines and you get fries. Yep. I've done that before and they were good. What's up, Charlie? Mm -hmm. Done that before. They turned out pretty good. Um, to hold up with the, the chili, I think it would be a good play because it's got the cheese and the, you know, as far as taste, the right. texture, you might have to go a little farther. So when you pick up the chaffle fry, that it doesn't just fall over. Yeah. You know, so I put a little thought to that, but look at a little just case, just in case a little chaffle thing flops, I got these two flop as well or fall back on I mean, not flop. <laughs> so but with that, cheers, Mikey, <laughs> take it over. All righty. So I'm doing the chaffles no. off. <clears throat> Excuse me, which I've already got it mixed and it, it's Mozzarella cheese and eggs. I've got two cups of mozzarella here and three eggs. So I'm going to make, I, it'll make uh, at least six chaffles. <coughs> two per person here. But okay. this is an excellent alternative. I just didn't want to do cheese on top of cheese. And that's these right here. And you can get them at Aldi. They're okay. uh, made with halloumi cheese. So I had thought about like, I had thought about doing um, like mozzarella cheese sticks or something like that. You know, you could quarter those and then yep. lay those out. But then I was like, 
you won't number two for a week. Yeah. If you have a whole whole mess of yeah. cheese sticks on top of cheese fr- uh, you know, with yep. cheese fries, I was like, you won't you won't go to the bathroom for a week. So a lot of pasteurized plugs. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so but but this, you know this right here, it's got a it's a different kind of taste. It's not gonna you know it, it, it doesn't taste like a fry, but it's a it's a decent it's not bad. I like it. And some folks use this as a bread substitute. Even you can get it in a block and slice it and grill it, and it'll be a bread. You can make a sandwich out of it. Hmm. Nice. So, and all okay. this, and I also thought about doing it as a. Uh, take on this is doing a chili gravy kind of and doing uh, poutine which is a Canadian dish if you haven't had it it's a uh, fries with gravy and cheese curds so I thought about that uh, Charlie no I, I haven't done that one if your waffle maker is the size of your copier that's a heck of a waffle maker. Or if, or, or if your butt's the size of the copier. That's a heck of yeah. a butt. <laughs> uh, <Mine is. laughs> well, so I don't know if I've shown this one off in a while, but in like 2018, I won a giveaway on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And it was a large skillet that they did up with. You could get your... Oh, logo at, put on it. Look at that. He got his logo put on it. I like that. Oh, yeah. That's fantastic. So it's been on the wall. And then I pulled it down and I washed it up and I said, I need to start using this more. So it's going to be the perfect size <laughs> for this little itty bit of can of chili. Uh, my brother in law's go to Castleberry's hot dog chili with onions. So, well, my chili is going to be from scratch and I because I am a cheap state and it's a lesser price I have gotten uh, ground sausage pork sausage and I've got some onions and peppers cut up in it and I'm gonna make my chili using pork sausage instead of ground beef why because this was 250 a pound all about that man all about that our treasure home, howdy. Hey, how you doing? Well, you ready me, to get started? Uh, let, me hit the, let me hit the out button here and uh, let's get started. There we go. Now you can kind of see us both. Yep. And let's get the, let's get the fire my, lit, bud. Yep. And I'm going to put this down on here. I hope everybody can see that okay. This is just for Charlie right here. Yep, he asked for it. You asked for it. You got it. And it ain't a Toyota. Well, Charlie, or uh, Tom's Food Factory asked for the chili cheese fries. Oh, that's right. It was him. That's right. Yeah. Charlie always likes to see the flames Uh when I fire up the the grill. Griddle. Oh, he's, he's after my pyromaniac heart. All right, this is it. I'm starting this in a cold pan. No special reason because I, I didn't really need to put a char on it of any kind or a crust on it because I'm going to add water to it to get get it pelletized and let the water cook down. And then uh, I, some folks use tomato paste or tomato sauce. I use ketchup for the hot dog chili. And it'll work just fine. Now, what other, if you, if you had the time today, what other what other thing would you, uh, if you were trying to impress somebody with chili cheese fries, keto style, what would you do as a fry substitute? Hickama. Yickama. Yuckama. Okay. J-I-C-A-M-A. Hickama. The J is spelled is pronounced like right I had uh, <clears throat> I had looked at that and I thought about rutabagas. 
I've never never done either one. Uh, I ran into Rusty at the grocery store, and he was picking them up. He was like, I'm going to try them out. But I haven't heard how they all turned out. Well, you can also do um, a turnip, a turnip works real well as a substitute. Now, yep. The the problem with both of those are that uh, they're really really dense, and it takes a long time to cook before you know it gets to a state yeah, where and you I was, can have it like a fry. Well, and I was thinking that you could use like the wok, put a little bit of oil in there, and uh -huh. kind of deep fry, but not That's deep fry, you, like yep. a shallow pan fry. Well, I um, but I, I was like, if you're, if you're if the idea is it's a weeknight, you're coming home, you're tired, you you know, you just want something quick, you don't want to mess with all that. Right. So that was what I was where I was thinking. Well um, yeah, the, the thing is uh, sweet potatoes not an option. No, sweet potatoes are not an option. At least for me. If you got the potato Space for the time in your day, go for it. Yeah, it all depends on what, what I mean, it, I guess it would be like dirty keto, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. But it's really not keto because of the natural sweetness in it. Um, nope, they're, they're, they're technically not keto. In fact, the only root vegetable that is is rutabagas, turnips, and uh, radishes. Um, yeah, I don't do radishes, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> and and um, yeah, yucca, yucca. There's Rusty. Hey, Rusty, how did uh, did you try those out yet? Oops, froze up what, there. When you're cooking, a, when you're cooking right. hickamuck, it's a very, very Hard thing to. First, you got a, a rutabaga and a yucca. Okay, they're very very difficult to slice and peel because you do have to peel them, and they, I'm telling you, they are they are harder than a rock, and it um, and it's the size of a shot put. So uh, you once you get it cut up. I recommend that you microwave it before you try to cook it or boil it before you try to cook it in any kind of oil because it otherwise the outside might get done before the inside does. Okay. Uh, Charlie, no beets have too much natural sugar in them. Yep. Rusty says, uh, sorry, lady was doing chicken cheese steaks on the Blackstone. Cool. He, had, he hasn't tried those other things yet. Well, I, I got to tell you, when, um, with sweet potatoes, for years and years, I was allergic. Now, growing up, I ate them all the time. Then all of a sudden, in 1979, I had some when I, and I was an adult, and I got a bad case of uh, closed up throat and hives and couldn't breathe and had to get a shot of uh, to keep me from dying. So that was the last time I had sweet potatoes for a long time. Then I had my gallbladder taken out and a couple of friends of mine said, have you tried eating things that you're not allergic, that you were allergic to before to see if you're allergic to them still? And I said, no. And they said, try it, but only use a small amount. So in case it doesn't work, because I, they were talking about how they had used uh they had things that food that they were allergic to they were no longer allergic to so i did it so i ate some sweet a little small amount of sweet potatoes nothing happened then i ate a little more nothing happened so i was back to eating sweet potatoes when we um when we found out i was diabetic back in early 2000s uh -huh. that was the tater replacement was um, go with uh, go to sweet taters, go to sweet taters. Oh, you know, I want sweet taters, 
and I used to not like them. I had to have the the, the cinnamon and the, the but lots. When you get the sweet tater fries, those right. were all always good. Yep. Um, but you know, I've already started. I forgot to put my apron on. Forgot my Mister Rogers thing, man. I got sidetracked. Oh man! Uh, you just reminded let's me. Let's see. Mine. Chickpea fries. Bill, chickpea car. fries. Um. Yeah, they are. But I, I reckon if you made them into like a a dough, you could form them out. You wouldn't want to eat a whole lot of them, but. Uh, you know, as far as trying to keep it keto, uh, but for a vegan option, which vegans are taters anyway, right? Yeah. Uh, see, I got butter on it though. There's a the pro cut. How you doing? Bat thirteen. How you doing? Hey, bat. Uh, James, a quick question. I know it's not keto related. Um, when we were at the auction last week, we talked about, um, they had a 12 inch Cracker Barrel pan and it was, I mean, it went for like 25 bucks. And the question was the age. Now this was a lodge. It did not have the heat ring, the, the three notch. It was just a regular skillet, but it had no helper handle. It was like this one, but it was a 12 inch. So the question was, how do you date the Cracker Barrel skillets? Because there's no number, there's no date, and I couldn't find anything really online last night or last two days about it. I reckon you just give it your own date. Kind of like you go to the store if it ain't got a price tag on it it's free right yeah. uh so i went out today and i found I, I got it in the light tank already but it was a number eight uh stove top griddle shallow it was 10 well this one was 10 bucks um once again, um, so the way it looks is it's the top says made in USA, but the M's kind of like gone. And it uh, it's a beautiful piece. It looks like it's never been seasoned. And it looks like on the front there was a spot where the label was. Um, but I, I wasn't sure, so I just went and threw it in the light tank. And we'll get it cleaned up. But I was looking for... Well, the PSR made a number eight smooth bottom, one of the Kamal styles. He'll, he'll understand what I'm talking about. But anyway, uh, Life Adventures in Keto, how are you doing? Hey, Michelle. Uh, so we're trying to do these fries. And I got them on the griddle heating up. I'm going to put a dome over them. There you go. Got my chili going. Need to get the, uh, over here, I got stuff to make my chaffle batter. Even though Mikey's doing chaffles, I think I'll do that too. Why not? Why not? I mean, really, you're gonna get upset, right? It's just a. This is the first time we've duplicated stuff. Yes. We we don't, this is what we get for not talking. Well, we don't talk on purpose, but beforehand to tell what the other's doing, so we see what we need to come up with. And if we we said if we come up with the same thing, so be it. Yep. And this yep. time we did. This time we actually did. I was I was surprised. But this is the first time that's happened, and we've done several cooks now, so that's pretty good. 
think I only need one. You know what would have been fantastic, and I was, and I almost did it. Spam. Oh, you know, I did think about that spam for us. Yep, I, I thought about it, but then I was like, my wife just maybe she'll want something. I don't know, and she will not. <laughs> <laughs> she will not want spam. <laughs> well, she's already told. I, I heard her tell you I am not eating a chocolate. Yeah, she she's not a chocolate person. So that was kind of why I was. She called it. She called it chihuahua, right? Yeah. So that's why I was thinking a little something else, and I got these uh, fry things. So maybe I could entice her into eating something. I don't know. Uh, but y'all know how to make chaffles, don't you? I'm sure everybody in that they've seen us do it before. I don't measure like just Jason does. No, I don't either. Usually, I just kind of it's like what what does he say? A third cup or three quarter? I just use a big handful. I use it. It's about two thirds of a cup. Yeah. So I'm making six. So I use roughly two cups. Yeah. I, I just use a handful and, and one egg. Well, you're only making for you, right? Huh? You're only making for you too, right? Right. So that would, yeah, that would be perfect. I'm making for me, the missus, and my brother-in-law. Yeah. And I don't think he's ever had him a chocolate. Okay. So I got my chocolate batter made up. Simple, simple, simple. Get my trash can out of the way. Now I got to get my waffle maker heated up. Uh, so what what um what else you got for like replacement? Obviously, zucchini, you know, any kind of squash. But the, the thing about zucchini, if you're gonna use it, take the seeds out, quarter, you know, slice them long ways in half, and then put uh, and take a spoon and dig out the middle, and make like a boat, and then and then cut it up from there. Right. It won't be near as mushy. Yours then, won't have mushy, but it won't be near as mushy. Then I lay them out um, on paper towels. Right. And then let them kind of soak. So pull some of that moisture out. You can put salt on them. Yep, that was the I'll next thing. Yep, that's the next thing. Put a little salt on it. And let it uh, soak. We got a no spam. No spam, really? But they got all kinds of flavors now. They've got maple, they got jalapeno, they got bacon, they got um what was the other one? Turkey. Then there's the low sodium, which is, you know, I like that one better, but teriyaki, spicy. Yeah. They got all kinds of good flavors. You have to oh okay, so you have to have the turkey spam. I kind of like that. Uh, the turkey spam. turkey spam was pretty good. Yeah, my middle daughter and I, uh, we did a challenge one time, and we carved turkeys out of out of the spam. The turkey spam. Uh, never had a twaffle. The what? <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Well, Charlie, I would like to tell you that you're missing out, but I only like them on certain things in certain ways. I can't just sit down and eat them like you can a waffle. That's just me. Now, I know the keto police are like, what? The chuffles are awesome. Hey, 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 they are fantastic for certain aspects for me. I'm not into like creating a whole meal around them. Unless it's like something like this, where they would be—they're not just by themselves. Does that make sense? 
Yep. They make pretty good sandwiches. Avocado um, fries. I have not tried the avocado fries because I don't know. I've never had a cooked avocado. I don't know how that. I'm, I'm kind of scared to do that. An avocado fry. I don't now, think I use avocado, avocado for a thickening agent, like a like use it like a cornstarch and that kind of stuff. But it was, you know, yeah, that was into the that, sauce. I don't think I've had them as a like that. Now they've been on the I don't know the barbecue pages forever, where you hollow them out, wrap them in bacon, and you do all that kind of stuff. But I've not tried that. Oh, Mr. Mike. Yeah. I did some smoked eggs. And that was the, when I started to peel them, they peeled, the first two peeled the best I've ever peeled. After that, them jokers went straight to nut, nut uh, like. <laughs> so you went from great to, ugh, what happened? <laughs> yeah. By the time I got to like the fourth, I did six. By the time I got to the fourth one, they were peeling like I normally peel. And I was like, okay, what am I doing? <laughs> I hear you. It happens. But <laughs> I wanted to tell you, man, I did smoke some eggs and I did peel some decently. But then I put the disclaimer at the end because I was like, the first two peeled fantastic. And then it didn't, then it didn't. So other than just simmering where it can cook down a little bit, that chili is done, folks. I hope y'all see that. So that's a hot dog chili right there for all practical purposes. And that was? Ground sausage. Yeah. Pork, ground pork sausage. Um, damn, that burned. I got to I splashed myself. Um, some... Uh, diced peppers and onions, browned it, put water in it to get it pelletized, kind of, and then um, break break it down and let it tenderize in the water, and then <clears throat> added chili powder and added uh, uh, about well this ketchup jar. I added about probably three fourths of it. And it's about the size of what you get in the old restaurants when you'd go sit down at the table and they'd have the jar of pepper up there for you. Uh, and I put it in there, and now it just has to cook down. But it's practically there. I mean, look at that. That's 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 a nice consistency right there. Yeah, that looks good. It doesn't have to cook down much. It just has to cook a little bit down. But some folks use... Uh, and if you want to use it, go ahead. But some folks use tomato sauce or tomato paste in it. I just put a little ketchup in it, and it works and, just fine. And you know, when you, when you start thinking about it, ketchup has everything that you would add to it. Exactly, exactly. That's why I did it. Why why add more to it when I ain't got to? So it makes a nice little sauce in here with the meat because of the water being in there with it. And the water cooks away, leaving the more uh, denser sauce to make like a gravy, which if you wanted to right now, this could also substitute as a sloppy joe. So, you know, take your pick. Now, let me see if I can show y'all what I got here. This here is my waffle maker. I got two of these little rascals. And I am going to put a little bit on here. You don't want to overfill this because it's going to expand. Now, when you close it up, do not reopen that until you get next to no steam coming out. Or I'm going to put a little bit of, I'm going to put a smoke bomb in mine. 
Okay, yeah, go for it. Little Uncle Steve's there. I put some Uncle Steve's original in mine. But this one right here going down now. Now you're going to be tempted to look under there, but don't. I agree. Because I'm telling you, you will regret it if you do. Do not touch it until it stops uh, steaming. Exactly. Once it stops steaming, you can touch it. <laughs> or at least gets to where it's not steaming hardly at all. That's looking real good, that chili. Oh, yeah. I've got half an onion that I'm going to chop up for the garnish. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Because, you know, being being from Ohio, we're Bengals fans, uh -huh. which means your Skyline Chili and your uh, Gold Star Chili band, right? Yep. Now, not everybody is, and that's fine. I got hooked with the first time they put chili and cheese on my skin. You and I was like, Dude, what? Game changer for me. Charlie's a fan of that, too. I've never had it. Yeah, and, you know, I've, I've got family members that absolutely are not, <laughs> absolutely are not fans, which is fun. And when I'm talking about Charlie, I'm talking about Charlie over at, uh, 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 Cooking, cooking Secrets for Men? Dang, I drew a blank for a second. Hey, welcome to my life, buddy. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> Man, three times I walked out to the, I got up yesterday to go do something. Completely forgot what I was doing by the time I walked into another room. Oh, yeah. And here it is two days later. I still ain't, I still ain't got done whatever it was I was going to do. Oh, I'm missing comments. Hold on a minute here. I can't see them because I've got the laptop tilted. Let me see what's on there. Let's see. Um, All right. Spam is a gift from God. <laughs> uh, this, this ketchup, ketchup, yes, ketchup does have uh, sugar in it. However, this here ketchup got no sugar. It's, and uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's uh, less than one gram. Or one, it's one gram of carbs, and there is absolutely no sugar in it. So that's a good thing. And this is Walden Farms right here. Well, we're still talking about spam, Mike. What's your favorite spam? Uh, probably the traditional. But I like I like uh, the teriyaki one, and I like the spicy one. But I know I'm going to be the only one eating it on the spicy because the misses don't do spicy all right can you see now this is starting you can see there's steam i don't know if you could see it but there's steam coming up now i'm not going to lift it up but there's there's a there we go i just tested it to see and yeah. this one is about done it is just about there avocado poppers would be interesting What's that? Avocado poppers would be interesting. Ooh. That'd call for a cooked jalapeno, uh, uh, avocado, though. And I'm a little yeah. scared of it. We'd, uh, we'd have to do like a standalone video on that one. Yeah. I'll write it down, though. Give me a minute. Okito. Okito. She is no longer on, but her recipes are good. Okay, yeah, I hadn't heard of her. Who is this? For um, Chaffles, she says go to okay to o Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, Keto. Yeah, she doesn't do any more videos. She has some great Chaffle refles, ref, uh, recipes. And I want to say that she was, it was between her and a sister-in-law or her daughter or something. One was in Oklahoma and one was in Ohio, I think. Or Pennsylvania. Okay, that, that would be the, 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 okay. the capital OK and the. Yeah. 
Okay. Ohio, brother and sister. Yeah, it was Ohio and, and Oklahoma. Yeah. All right. These are a little crispy. They're, I already turned the heat off and just had them underneath the dome. They look like they'll hold up. Look at this. I, I'm tearing. Oh, y'all got to see this. Look at that. Look at that chili right there. It don't get much better than that. Now, let me get a cooling knife out so I can lay these out on it. And I'm getting off of the chopper maker. All righty. Yeah, when I was when I was looking through like all the different things, man, I was, you know, the old standby prop like cauliflower. You know, I was like, you could get that, you could make mashed, and then freeze it in the like little, you know, the tubes that they make for ice or the ice cube trays or tubes. Yeah. That you drop in your water bottle. Yeah. I was like, oh, you could do mashed cauliflower in that. And that'd be pretty cool. But, you know, I didn't, I was like, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm way off here. Okay. Uh, hot dog chili, nice. Never tried sweet potato with chili cheese on it. You know, I don't, I don't know how bad, I mean, that would make it really sweet or sweeter. I yeah. bet it'd be good. It probably would. And if you top the cheese with like a pepper jack or a, uh, you know, a pimento cheese? I bet that'd be amazing. Yeah. Um, butter or coconut, ugh, ugh, coconut oil on that burn, Mike? Nah, it comes right off. This thing, that, I've not had one stick as long as I don't open it too soon. Yeah, he, he says, I am man, him the roar. He's the keto man. Uh, <laughs> Ketchup does have sugar in it, but there is there is ketchup that does not have sugar. And this is one of Yep. And sometimes they have um, the sweeteners in it, and some of those sweeteners mess with me. So I don't I don't I just get it with sugar. I just don't put a whole lot on. Yeah. Um, because it's all in moderation, right? You don't put if it says a tablespoon, you're not using a whole tablespoon on a hot dog. Right. Now, you, you know, are going to have some natural sugars from the tomato in some of them, but this right here doesn't have that. I'm going to put the rest of this ketchup in and let it cook down, too. Uh, Deep-fried bacon-wrapped avocados is so good. Okay. What? Okay. Deep-fried? Deep-fried bacon-wrapped avocados. So you, uh, avocado jalapeno popper dip would be interested. How you doing, Sam One Thousand? That would be interesting. An avocado jalapeno popper dip. Yeah. Say that five times fast. I can. I barely got through it once. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even gonna try. You saw what happened when I tried to do purple and peppers in the same sentence. Yeah. Okay. So there's the Oklahoma and Ohio brother and sister. Yeah, I'm a little behind. I'm trying to catch up. Cooling racks makes a difference with the chaffles. Oh, okay. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And I got one. I got it on one right now because if you don't, it gets soggy. Yeah, I got mine cooking up. Um, it's done steaming, but I'm letting it go a little bit longer because I want want to hold it. Want to hold up. Yep. Um. Yeah, Mike did burn himself, but he's being a guy, and you know. I'm toughening but, myself up. Huh? Uh, yeah, I did burn myself. You can see this place here where I got splattered on. Yeah, Rusty's using a whole tablespoon on a hot dog, but that's because he can't see when it starts getting on there, so he gets a tablespoon at the one end and then does his line. Good. <laughs> <Man. laughs> Do it. I'm sorry, man. I shouldn't, I shouldn't pick on you when you're not here. I'll wait till no, you're here. perfect time. Go for it. <laughs> yeah, I'll wait till you're here. <laughs> uh, Heinz, no sugar added. 
That's, here, pretty no notice of that. that. That's pretty good. Uh, G Hughes's is pretty good. There's no sugar in that. I don't like G Hughes. You don't? I mean, I never met the guy personally, but I don't like his stuff. Yeah. Um, I like it. It's pretty good. This one was a little too dark. Went a little too long on that one, but look, it happens. That looks Burnt good. Chuffle, burnt chuffles happen. You covered that with chili. They ain't going to know that. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> It'll soften up, too. But, you know, it's one of those that people are afraid to show their their mistakes. And I'm like, dude, it's I'll show them. if you ain't show, seen, man, I, I'll show you all of them. I'll show you all of them. I ain't afraid. I ain't scared. <laughs> I know I'm human. I'm a work in progress, man. I'm under construction. That's one of the things I say on some of my videos before I do it. I'll say, I'm going to make this. And I tell them, I say, y'all stick around and see how bad I can screw this up. <laughs> Those are pretty good. The chocolate? The uh, zucchini, parmesan, garlic, whatever baked fries I got. Yeah. These ones. Oh, okay. Those are pretty good. Yeah. It is one full serving of vegetables. Who'd have thunked it? One full serving. That's all right. Let's see. Got another chopper done. Yeah, this one's a little dark. She went a little too long there, Chief. Ah, yeah, well. That's I mean, right. the wife the wife won't touch it, so it's just mine. So just you, so what the heck, right? I remember when I was a kid and I'd say, Mama, the toast is burnt. She'd say, Bring it here. And she'd go to scraping it with a knife and say, There, it's not burnt anymore. Yeah, that's when I quit eating toast. <laughs> <laughs> Unless grandma put apple butter on it. Yeah. My grandma used to make the best homemade apple butter. Oh. Back in the day, man. Back in the day. Now, some folks put a little cheese down onto the chocolate maker before they do it. I do that on occasions. It depends on how I'm making my chocolate, what I'm, do what I'm doing with them. But there, that was turned out to be... Let me show you. This is it right here. This is six chocolates. I got these are the last. Well, these are the last two, and I got four over here. I didn't mean to do that. That's all right. I was trying to bring you up. There we go. Now you can show them. This I got two in here. This is the last two. I emptied the the bowl. I said I was gonna get six out of it. I got six perfectly. Now I hope this one don't overflow. I've got I had I've not had overflow on this so far, but I have known to overflow. And I ended up I've got four over here. Let me show y'all these. Four of them already made. Nice. So these are coming along nicely. Yeah, I got some I got some wanting to come over the side, but maybe it'll hold itself in there enough. Yeah, Charlie, you can do the um, shredded chicken in in a chaffle, um with a little bit of buffalo wing sauce. Yep. Just Jason Keto is – check him out. He's got a bunch of uh, chaffle recipes. The two best chaffles I have ever made are uh, – I made one with cottage cheese using cottage cheese in it. And I made one that was a uh, rye chocolate. And both of those videos are out there. Uh, I'll try to link them after the live in here so y'all can see them. Those are the two best I've made. They, those two, uh, it, it, that raw, that rye one, that was extra special good. And that one with the cottage cheese in it, it was a really soft, bread-like texture. 
Yep. Uh, I want to try putting the rye in with the cottage cheese and seeing if it'll make a soft textured rye type thing, which uh, what I use for the rye is caraway seeds. Yep. I know after you put that out there, it took me a little bit to find the caraway seeds, and then then we made it up, and it was really good. I'm telling you. Um, <laughs> and Tom Garvey says he was he was sitting there watching it, and he and Marie were watching that video, and she, Marie says, "I'll be right back." <laughs> and she went in there and made them, and came back, and he's like, "Son of a gun! Look at that! That's good." Yeah. That one came out better. Oh, yeah, that does look better. Um, it took me a while to find the caraway seeds, but then once I found them, I made them, and they were pretty good. And I did make a Reuben with them. That was kind of the whole the whole premise behind why, why we started doing those. The third best chaffle I've made was one where I made a Reuben chaffle. The chaffle itself was the Reuben, and it was for dipping. And it had Swiss cheese in it. It had caraway seeds. It had uh, corned beef, all of that in it. And I'm te uh, and uh, sauerkraut. It had sauerkraut in it. That thing, dipping it was absolutely wonderful. Caraway seeds are the devil. <laughs> No, no, Rusty. Well, Rusty's he's he's like that though. He's very picky on everything. He's part of that ten percent of America that uh, or ten percent of human beings that think uh, cilantro tastes like soap. So you can imagine yeah. how much fun he is at the Mexican place. <laughs> he stays away from the from the salsa. It's a fajita, and that's about it. Yep. Well, nothing wrong with that. That's what I get. Yep, that's what I get too. I don't eat the beans and rice. I give that to the wife or one of the kids. And I bring my own wraps or I bring chips to eat it like that. Well, and I'll eat the, the wraps. I mean, because there's three of them, right? Yeah. They only give you three. And I'm like, oh, okay. They're not that bad in the grand scheme of what you could be doing to yourself. Yeah, true. But that's why I'm more low carbis and I'm not a strict, strict keto. Right. And so I'm going to put these in the oven and let the cheese melt on top of the, the thing. I'm going to make three individual little baskets of them and let the cheese melt on top for the chili cheese part of it, the cheese part. Now, what cheese am I going to use? I think I'm going to use a combination of mozzarella and white cheddar. I have both, and I say, why not use both? There we go. And my chaffles are done. Unplug these bad boys so they'll cool off and all. <laughs> Max, Bruno, y'all hush. Y'all be hushing. Uh-oh, we lost Lee. I thought I was off all alone. Lee must have lost the internet. So let me get this down to cut these up. And... And then I'll turn you around here where you can see it. All right. I've turned the heat off on my chili because I don't need it on anymore. Lee must be having internet problems, so... I am going to I'm gonna slice these up. And 
and make size of fries. Uh oh, Lee's back. He'll be up here in just a second. That's a little big. Let me see if I can add him to the show. Oh, was. There okay, go. there you go. You were adding and I was adding at the same time and I ended up removing, I think. Yeah. Uh, we don't think we know it's gross. Oh, okay, okay. So she's one of them too, huh? Uh, I'm also in that 10%. <laughs> All right, well, that's okay. That's right. You can talk about food all you want, but as soon as you mention something somebody don't like, Ooh, yeah. conversation over. Yep. Conversation over. Because they will let you know. Uh uh, not touching that. Yeah. Not here though. We we we'll talk about anything. Yeah. Hey, I I've had I've had chitlins, I've had mountain and oysters, so I don't mind. And I got a little bath here to put it in. Got a little thing here, and I'll put this in the oven with cheese on it. Yeah, I got. I'm getting four chaffles out of my my That's mix. Good. That's a good mix. Yeah. So I got the cheese on here, or the I'm sorry, the chili. Put a little more. What the heck? And now I'll get the others cut up and put on there. So basically, I know y'all can't see this, but where the grid lines for the chaffle is, oops, where these grid lines are, that's where I'm cutting yep. to make the fries, yeah. just like Mike is. Pretty much the same. His is, yeah, you're just zoomed in better. That's because I got the laptop sitting right here, breathing down my throat. That gave me, gave me a nice little mix right there. So now I'm going to go ahead and start plating, Mike. That's what I'm doing right now. I got me a little basket, some parchment paper, and it is page approved for anybody who's watching. Yep. I ran it by her after I decided I was doing it. <laughs> yeah. If you don't know, Paige is, uh, she's not feeling the best today. She had a shot in her eye. And that kind of takes it down a little bit. All right, so Rusty lost internet too. He's about five miles down the road from me, so. Yeah, we're on the same. Hey, hey Mr. Tom's Food Factory, we're making your stuff. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I did screw up a couple of the chaffle fries, and but these Parmesan. Zucchini ones are looking pretty darn good. Okay. So I'm setting those down. Oh, I'm going to throw these chaffle ones off to this side. That way you got a good mix. You got both, right? Yep. I like that. Yeah, mix them both in there. All right, so this chaffle here is done. Let me cut the, turn the heat off. All righty. All right, now I'm going to throw a couple in. more of these. Uh, I'll 
he lost it again. Lost who? Uh, Rusty. Thanks, Bat. Bat thirteen said there. Everything's looking good. Good. There we go. Now I'm back. There you go. All right. Oh, let's oh, it's supposed to dump snow, so they're going to lose. Okay. Okay. Well. It's supposed to snow. So I'm going to hurry. We're going to have to hurry this up, Mike, I guess. Uh, Charlie's about to get snow. That's why we're losing internet in South Carolina. Uh-oh. So. Man, it's 70 gonna, degrees here. Scoop up my chili. Well, Charlie's in Colorado. Oh. So when he's when he's about to get snow and lose internet, we lose it here. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Max, everybody. At least it it makes here. sense anyway. Yeah, well, we have a bullfrog burp on Lake Lanier, and it, it'll knock power out here. All right, that's that one. And then they put a little of this on there now. I think this is the cheddar. Yep. Uh oh. Combination All of cheddar right. and mozzarella. Pop this one here out. All right. And now my cheddar. Oops. I was trying to be dramatic and throwing stuff around now. Well, hey. Hey, Mike, help ready. Talk with cheese. Now I'm going to put it in 400 degree oven for just enough to melt the cheese. Now I got a melt. Where did my melter? I lost my melter. What do you got for a melt? What the heck you got for a Here melt? Here it is. I got my melter. Oh, a flame? Oh, you got a torch. Look at that. He, yeah. Folks, you see all kind of high-tech stuff. You come here and see us. Is it melting it? Can you hear it? I hear the torch. I can't hear the cheese. It looks like it's melting it. Let me let me put you on solo. That cheese is melting. I can see that. Whoops. Hit the paper. That's what I was trying not to do. Oh, well. Turn the hole in the paper. Turn the hole in the paper. That's okay. It's parchment. It won't do too much. It won't right. look quite as bad as if it was a paper towel. Now I'm going to add a little bit of that onion that I chipped up. Oh, 
We'll add a little bit of onion I've chopped up. Boom. And that's that. I'm getting the, I'm doing what y'all think? Fish. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Great garnish on it. And it's got the hole. <laughs> I put some on mine, but I don't. Uh, and I don't have any sour cream. Or I put a dollop of it on top. All right, there's a picture. I'm here to tell you that looks really good. That looks real good. Let's see. Where are we at in comments here? Um, what's he say? You're lucky, Charlie. We're in the 70s and expecting thunderstorms. We're in the low 70s today, so it, it was... Man, yesterday it was like 33 degrees in the morning, right? I got up to go walk. It was yeah, it was 43. At this time, it had went up 40 degrees, and it was like 73. Yeah, it was crazy. Oh, uh, Rusty's still here. Oh, he's yelling at Charlie, or Charlie's yelling at Tom. Get a bigger torch, Ace Hardware. I am. Um, that's coming up. I just, just got my, uh, check. So that'll be coming up. Uh, get a torch, Mike. <laughs> yeah. What? what? Uh, bat 13 says, get a torch, Mike. Get a torch. That I way you can get a torch, all this stuff. There you go. Fire in my hands usually turns out bad. Yeah, Rusty, I thought about that uh, earlier after we talked, and I was like, "Well, we'll see what we'll see. Maybe we'll do it uh, next week." He wants to come down and, and cook. Now it's getting it's staying darker later, so he can be able to drive home safely. Yeah. Skyline four way. Yep. I don't have beans in mine though, so it's still a three-way. But mm. yeah, I don't do beans in this here. I don't do beans in chili at all. And Damn. what I put in there depends on what I'm making it for. And I'm about to pull this out of the oven because because I don't have a torch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bat. Take it easy, okay. brother. Thank you, thank you. Let me pull these out real quick. It ought to be good and done now. Let me move this laptop before I end up with it in the floor again. I'm going to try one of the uh, chaffle. It holds up really well. The texture's there. Because you get the crispy on the outside, and then the inside's soft, but it's not like melted cheese. I mean, it's like like the top of lasagna cheese. You know what I'm talking about? Like the crusty uh -huh. cheese? Yep. Mm. Which makes sense. That's what it is. Yep. Um, these little Parmesan zucchini things are pretty darn, pretty darn good. Now, Mike, that just get a fork, buddy. Yep. That looks good. Yep, yours does too. Let me get to miss it so she can make a taste if she will. And I made some slaw to go I with it. I get my missus, but I know what she's going to say. She won't eat the chaffle. <laughs> So 
So Tom, Mike used chaffles, and then he made a homemade uh, chili sauce to go on top. Yep. Then he put cheese on top and uh, melted it in the oven. So we will. I thought I, I, whoops, I don't know what I just did. Hold on a minute. I lost y'all. There it goes. I thought maybe there you go. Do it. So she ain't want to do it. No, she's uh she says she's not feeling the best. Her eyes hurting. So oh uh, yeah. Let's try it. So cheers. All right, try it. By golly, that's good. That is good. Now, are you going to mistake a chaffle for a cheese for a French fry? No. Which I guess, uh, that is a heck of a substitute right there. Mm. I'll take that all day long. Yes, sir. I agree. There you go. Well, I'm not a fan of like chaffles. I like them in certain things, mm -hmm. but they're really good in this. A chaffle, uh, uh, Tom's, so food Tom, Tom's Food Factory asks, what's a chaffle? You want to? Yeah, it's basically a cheese wall. Basically, it's one egg, mm -hmm. a big handful of cheese, and you yep. mix it up and you put it in a mini waffle maker. Mm -hmm. And then it crisps up so it's like a waffle. But because it's melted cheese in a waffle that's chaffle. But and it's it's a good yeah. substitute for bread. It's a good okay. French fry substitute. I mean, you know, like I said, you know, yeah, it's a good substitute. It's just like a fry, because no, it doesn't. But guess what? It tastes good. And that's all I care about. Right. And by the time you get done eating this one batch, I mean, it's a handful of cheese, right? You eat that on pizza. Right. Right. So it's not going to plug you up like eating a handful of uh, cheese sticks will. Right. But and I made six chocolates. Well, and put them in two on each. Everybody's got two on these things. Well, folks, we done pulled off another one. Hmm. And it looks really good, and I'm telling you, it tastes even better. This is a good one. Yep. This is a keeper for sure. I like well, it. Well, yep. Uh, Mike's, Mike's cutting out on my end, so I don't know. Anybody else getting it cut out on the end? So I hope we expanded everybody's idea of cheese fries. Um, we've talked about other replacements. And you can add seasoning to your chaffle batter to make to enhance, so it doesn't taste like, you know, Parmesan or provolone mozzarella cheese. Yep. I'm gonna make a picture but, so I can put this on there as a thumbnail. Uh, so Tom says he is impressed. Well, thank you, sir. Well, good, buddy. I'm glad you we are. We aim to please. Yes, we do. <laughs> So this weekend is this weekend is this weekend St. Patty's Day. So y'all get out there, be safe. Yep. And uh, that's about all I got, Mike. If you watch, uh, if you know, if you know, you uh, if you know uh, Keto Simple at their channel i'll be on there sunday afternoon on their live sunday afternoon i forget what time it is that it starts it's like two or three uh he and i'll be talking so if you got a chance to tune in we'd love to see you come by but until then okay. what do you tell everybody lee when it comes cool. to cooking? and rusty and i will be live sunday morning that's right uh for cooking with the cubs i don't think the cubs are going to be around so it'll be just Rusty and I. But uh, 
We are, yes, Tom, we're thinking about a St. Patty's Day theme. I've already started kind of some of the prep work um, with the the wife-made mashed taters, and I formed them into a silicone mold. I pushed them down in there and froze them. So hopefully I'll be able to cook them on the flat top, crisp them up because they're frozen, just crisp them up, and they won't. hopefully they won't leak out. And they'll be a nice addition to what I'm thinking, the other stuff I got going on for it. But there's a process. It's a huge, I mean, we're talking corned beef, bacon, cabbage, a grill, a grinder, uh, mashed taters. I mean, I got a whole bunch of stuff that I'm trying to get in for the week. So through the rest of the week to get Sunday as easy peasy. Yep. So, but well, that's all I got, Mike. So what's the two things you tell folks, Lee? There's only two rules in cooking. Did you have fun? Did it taste good? Rock on. Y'all are awesome. Have a great week, everybody. Be careful out there. <laughs>